Hello, today we're going to go over some of the scheduling options used inside of the Signal 4 app. You'll see here that I'm logged into my Signal 4 web portal, and if I go under my Teams page and select one of my teams and click on the Shift and Duty menu options, this will load up my Shift and Duty scheduling for my teams. You'll see here that I have no Shift and Duty options available because I have my Duty scheduling turned off. However, if I turn this Duty scheduling option on and click on the Save button, then I'll now see my shift and duty scheduling. Right now I have no schedule set. Here you'll see a handover assistant and post shift duty report that is turned off for me right now. And what this does is at the end of your shift, it sends you an email to let you know how many alerts came in and how quickly they were handled and how they were handled for tracking purposes so you know how your shift went. So we'll see here if I turn this option on, I have multiple new options that show up on my system. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And the first thing we see here is this new option called Snap Duties to Hand Over Time. What this does is when you're scheduling a new shift inside of Signal 4, it automatically schedules that shift for the entire duration of your shift length starting at your handover time. So on the right hand side of this, we see my shift length and that's set to six hours right now and my handover time at 9 a.m. So as you can see below, 9 a.m. has already passed as far as my day goes. So you'll see that from 9 to 3, you'll see the ending time of that first shift. And then you'll see the start second time goes from 3 to 9 p.m. And then a third shift from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. And then a fourth shift that goes from 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. And then it just continues on from there. So every six hours is a new shift. So let's actually start here on my Friday morning at 9 a.m. So let's say... We do want to go ahead and snap duties to handover time, save that option, and then I click on for my first person, Doreen, and I just click on the 9 a.m. slide. It's going to automatically schedule the entire shift from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. for that user. So then I'm going to go ahead and click on Patrick from the 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. shift and it's going to automatically schedule that entire shift over for him. And I'll do the same thing for myself going from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. So now we see three shifts with just three simple clicks. We have 18 hours of coverage for our users. Now you can set this shift length to be anything from six hours to 14 days. Now whatever we choose here, it's going to set the start and end times as well as the handover times to the according shift length. So if I choose eight hours and then save, now my shift schedules are gonna go from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So if I click on Doreen, it'll add from nine to five. And if I click on for Patrick, it'll add from five to one. And then if I scroll over a little bit and click on for myself, we'll now go from 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. So now with three clicks, we have the entire 24 hours covered with three people using the eight hour shifts. And you can do the same thing with any of the options under the shift length dropdown. So now let's say our day actually starts at 8 a.m. versus 9 a.m. So in order to change that, we would actually go under the handover time, click inside of there under bring down a drop down, and whatever your current chosen time is, is always going to be the number one option. So in order for us to get to the 8 a.m., we just scroll down to the bottom, and we choose that 8 a.m. option, and then click on the save button. And we'll see that my times have now moved, start at 8 a.m., and end at 4 p.m., and then go from 4 to 11, and then 11 to 8. So again, and I'm going to choose myself for this first one now for 8 and 4. And then we're going to go Doreen from 4 to midnight. And we can go over here and select Patrick for midnight to 8 a.m. Now, in addition to that, we also have this other option down here. It's called Minimum Number of Team Members on Duty. And what this does is if the schedule is turned on, it's going to automatically put us on duty and then take us off duty at the end of our schedules. So Doreen will not be able to log out of the mobile app in between the hours of 4 p.m. and midnight, as well as Patrick won't be able to log out from midnight to 8 a.m. And I won't be able to log out from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now, if we turn off the duty scheduler and save it again, now we have an editable option for the number of team members on duty. So let's say I set this to two. This is going to force two users to always be on duty. So let's say Patrick logged in and then I logged in and then Doreen logged in. It's going to have all three of us users on duty. And the first one of us to log out will be able to log out without any issues. However, the other two users have to stay on duty until a third person logs in. 
So let's say we're supposed to have two people on duty throughout the entire day, um, and Patrick and myself start earlier in the day, so we start at 8 a.m., so we'd both log into the app at 8 a.m. So let's say Doreen comes in at 10 and she logs into the app. And then at that point, Patrick is able to log out of the app and no longer take any of the incoming alerts. And then at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Patrick logs back into the app. And at that point, I'll be able to log out of the app and we'll still have two users on duty with Patrick and Doreen. So we still meet this minimum number of users. And if this is set to zero, then you can have all of your users logged in or out without any issues whatsoever. For our purposes, I'm going to go ahead and turn the duty scheduler back on. And you'll see that my schedule still stays there because once it's there, even though we're no longer using the duty scheduler when I turn it off, the schedule is still saved in the database, so it's still there. So now we have this post shift report carbon copy to. So let's say as a manager, Patrick wants to get a report at the end of every single shift. So what we can do is if this handover assistant and post shift report is checked, we can enter the email address for Patrick in this carbon copy email address and click on that save button. And now every, at the end of every single shift, there's going to be a post duty report that goes out to whichever user was on duty and a carbon copy, a CC of that report is going to go out to the Patrick user at this email address. Now let's say here we have my schedule set for the day of Friday, but I want to use the same exact schedule for the entire next week. Now I could go into the next week and set it up manually by clicking on the days. However, that's, that's a lot of extra work that doesn't need to be done. So we also have the ability to copy a schedule from any section of the schedule to another section of the schedule. So in order to do that, we need to go into copy mode and we have two options here. We can either click on the actual date and time we want to start the copy at the bottom um, and we can click and drag for as much as we want to copy and that's going to select that selected date and time or you can use the start the copy from as your start and the copy to as your end time to do the same thing and now we want to paste this so I'm going to go under the paste box and I'm going to choose the 13th because we already have the 12 copies so and we can repeat this as many times as we want so let's say we're going to repeat this seven times to do an entire week so then I click on the copy and paste buttons and now we'll notice that if I go to the next week that I have the entire week scheduled out using that same schedule I just copied and pasted up to seven days. Now if I close out of my copy mode and I can go back in and I'll still see all of that scheduled out. Now let's say you have a week scheduled all for multiple different people and multiple different schedules and you want to copy that into following weeks. That'll You can do that as well. So on this one we're going to say I'm going to copy from the 13th starting at 12 a.m. and we're going to copy to the 19th to 12 a.m. Apply that. Now we're going to paste that starting on the 20th because that's the day that my first day that's empty and we want to paste that five more times. We click on the copy and paste button and now we'll see from the 20th on we have scheduled out for a couple of weeks using the same schedule. This is a quick way for you to set your schedule for one day or one week depending on how you use your scheduling and then use the copy mode to copy that schedule from that day or week however we have it set and paste that into subsequent days and weeks. This way you don't have to set the same schedule up multiple times in the program. And that's a brief rundown of some of the many, many features we use inside of the Signal 4 scheduling to help make everything easier for our customers. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.